The Indian Army is all set to induct Tanbo Imaging Seri Saklip on thermal site for Concours ATGM launchers next week. The armies of India and US will conduct the 20th edition of Joint Army Exercise at the Mahajan Field Firing Ranges in Rajasthan from 9 September. The DRDO is collaborating with SSS Defence for the development of Siracote coating for small arms, that will increase durability of weapons, and will help maintain stealth by minimizing the chance of detection under infrared light used by night vision systems. Serial Dip 2 Projects has launched the 7th ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge for the Indian Navy. Tato Advanced Systems Limited is all set to activate the final assembly line for the C-295 program, to begin producing detailed parts and sub-assemblies for the C-295 aircraft by the end of November. India's Strategic Forces Command has conducted a successful launch of Agni-4 intermediate-range ballistic missile, that validated all operational and technical parameters. The Defence Acquisition Council is expected to drop the amendment for integrating the DRDO's experimental ESA radar on the Rafale Marine fighters, as the integration of the new radar has been deemed prohibitively expensive, and its incorporation could significantly delay the project. Retired Air Marshal Anil Chopra has said, that there is an urgent need for India to acquire the F-35 stealth fighter jet, and he expressed concerns about China's plans to field 1,000 J-20 fighters by 2035. He also advocated for direct Prime Minister officers' control over the AMCA program to ensure its timely development and deployment, but stressed the importance of a stopgap solution until the AMCA becomes operational. He also informed, that the F-35 was showcased at Aero India 2023, where several serving and retired Indian Air Force pilots had the opportunity to examine it closely, and the positive response from the pilots and the more relaxed stance of the Pentagon suggest that the US government may be open to selling the F-35 to India. BrahMos Aerospace is developing an improved ramjet engine for a near hypersonic variant of the BrahMos missile, that will have an unprecedented speed of Mach 5, and this speed boost will render it virtually impossible to intercept by modern air defense systems, that will start development trials between late 2027. BrahMos aims to develop a Mach 7 capable hypersonic cruise missile based on the Russian Zircon missile. However, its development is likely to take place after 2030. According to latest media reports, India has equipped its INS Gat SSBN with K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missiles that have a range of 4,000 km, which is significantly higher than the 750 km range K-15 missile initially fitted on INS Eri Hunt SSBN. The K-4 SLBM is 12 meters long and weighs 20 tons, and can carry a 2-ton payload, and it can perform three-dimensional maneuvers as a countermeasure against ballistic missile defense systems. India has already been providing spare parts to the Malaysian Su-30MKM fleet, and as per latest reports, India and Malaysia are in discussions on the maintenance and upgrade of the Royal Malaysian Air Force's Su-30MKM fighter jets. The Royal Malaysian Air Force is closely monitoring India's Super Shukhoi upgrade program, and under the proposed agreement, the Malaysian Su-30 MKM fleet could be overhauled and upgraded with Indian-made systems, and Malaysia has also expressed interest in acquiring the Brahmose air-launched cruise missiles. Following the recent approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security for the AMCA fighter jet program, the DRDO is hopeful of finalizing a deal for the new engine for the program by 2025. The DRDO has concluded discussions with potential partners, and it will soon submit its recommendation to the Ministry of Defense. The partner offering a clean sheet design, that is free from the limitations of older generation technology, and guaranteed export restriction free engine technology, will be the preferred partner. Today's top 3 comments.